Hey people, this is Sharpino here. Welcome to you guys to a team prep video for our first round for the PMC League event. So you guys might hear I sound a little bit stifled, that's kind of a little bit sick at the moment. So I'm just going to quickly uh, run through my team, run through my opponent's team and I'll explain to you guys why I've chosen the pack that I've chosen to take on this event. So first and foremost, so we're going to the first round. If you guys are if you guys are enjoying the content, if you guys want to get behind Sydney Crocodiles, and of course you're part of the Sharp Squad, make sure you like button down below for us because as always your support is greatly appreciated. So let's go ahead. I'll discuss to you guys uh, what my opponent's team is going to be like, and then I'll explain why from our selection we decided to go ahead and pick our team. Now if you guys don't know what team we've got. Go ahead and check the analysis video uh, that I've done previously. I'll leave a link for it down below so you guys, if you don't know what our choices are, it'll be left right there. So the team of Bay Frogadiers is uh, led by the coach, The Bird. Um, so let's have a look. So first he's got a Mega Pinsir, which is very, very frightening. Then he has Kieran Black, which is just as frightening. Then you've got Stami, uh, Embol, Heliolisk, Gramble, Weezing, Ferrothorn, Spiritomb, Tyrantrum and Gligar. So a lot of heavy threats on his team there, obviously being the Mega Pinsir, the Pure and Black, and the um, I would say the Starmie falls in that category because Starmie could either be a defensive or could be an offensive hitter. But um, some other Pokemon alongside that that really worry me is the Ferrothorn and the Weezing. I've got a feeling the Weezing uh, is more likely than if, if he does bring Weezing, uh, Weezing is definitely going to be a physical wall with one blocky helmet or black sludge and the will is triple. And um, and uh, we've got the Ferrothorn obviously being the rock setter and everything else. So uh, what I've noticed is that he doesn't actually have, oh, I mean the Starmie could also be the rapid speeder as well, or unless, I don't think uh, Gligar gets access to default, I'm not 100% sure, but basically what I've prepped for to come against us, so the 6 Pokemon of the selection I've explained to you guys, of those 11 Pokemon, I'm preparing for Mega Pinsir, uh, Kira Black, Starmie, um, I would probably say Heliolisk, uh, just because here this can be uh, choice effects, choice scarf, offensive mon, they're definitely threatening. Uh, I would say the Weezing, the Ferrothorns, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the six pack that we're prepping for. So the Mega Pinsir, Kirin Black, the Starmie, the, uh, the Heatalisk, the, uh, I'll say Ferrothorn or Weezing, I know one of them's going to be there. And then the last choice might be either, the other choice would be Weezing or Ferrothorn, or I reckon Gramble. Gramble with the Intimidate. So that's what the team we're preparing for. Now let's go ahead and have a look at the team here. So I've made it here on Showdown just because on Showdown it's a lot easier to show you guys uh, before the actual Wi Fi battle uh, exactly what I plan to do. So let's have a look at the team here. So I'll go ahead and click on the town plan here so you guys get an analysis so you can see everything. So uh, here we do have uh, we do have the town plan here, obviously. Very good Pokemon, you know, Gale Wings. Um, I've decided to put Sharp Beak on the Talon Flame just because I feel that it, I feel like we do need to hit, hit hard with the Brave Bird because Ferrothorn is probably the only Pokemon I can see where uh, that or the Healer is, where I can see that Flare Bits needs to hit hard, but we need to hit the Brave Bird and we need to hit it hard. So we've got the Sharp Beak there with the Brave Bird, so um, we've always got. Oh, that's just a nice uh, so we've got our options, we've got Flare Blitz and Brave Bird. Now Will-O-Wisp is a tech choice of mine. The reason why I've chosen to use Will-O-Wisp is because uh, for situations where they expect to swap in, you can use a Will-O-Wisp uh, to cripple whatever Pokemon comes into it and it sets up residual damage on the Pokemon. So uh, if for example she tries, oh she, sorry, he, if he tries to send in a Weezing against us um, to do damage to our uh, to our Talonflame with Rocky Helmet or something, we've got the Willowless there just to put the residual damage on that Weezing to make it a bit harder to come out because Weezing is a very annoying Pokemon with Paint Split and everything else, so uh, the Willowless will just put residual damage onto it. So, 
Uh, adamant nature, like I said, is going to make it hit hard and hit where it counts, especially with a uh, quick attack Mega Pinsir and um, a Kieran Black. Now, Kieran Black could be Choice Scarf, depending on how he wants to go about it. Uh, but I know that uh, Kieran Black has a base 95 speed, so even at maximum speed, we need to make sure that we get that sort of priority, which is where the Brave Bird uh, Talent Line comes to it. Now we go for our next choice here. The next choice here is our Alakazam. Now, the reason why I've chosen Alakazam here as our second choice is because Alakazam does have a lot of answers to a lot of these Pokemon. So we've obviously got, um, we've got he's got access to Dazzle Gleam and Shadow Ball, which does answer to the three big threats on his team. Um, he does get access to Knock Off, so if we're going up against any Pokemon that have any annoying items, or if we're going up against Kieran Black, uh, definitely good to have the Focus Slash with Magic Guard. Uh, just so we can get rid of whatever items on Kieran Black, because Kieran Black is probably the one Pokemon I'm most worried about, just because it hits like a truck. So, whatever item that he has, we have the option to use uh, the Alakazam as our possible knockoff user, or Dazzle Gleam to get the uh, cheap shot onto uh, the, the Tyrantrum, should he decide to bring it in. Uh, but also, it works well with the uh, with Kieran Black as well, because of the, of the mods that he's going to bring, I reckon... We could even swap the Scarlet Gleam and go for maybe HP Fire, just to be something a little bit different, but it just depends how we go about it, because like I said, the Mega Pinsir, the Kieran Black, Starmie, uh, Ferrothorn, Weezing, and the Healers, I would say, like, we're, we're pretty covered. Like, really, the Psychic's there for, obviously, the Stab. Uh, Dazzling Gleam is a little bit weak, but it just gets the extra hit on, and even if we need to go up against uh, Pinsir, and uh, just go for a Psychic, just to go full force onto it. So we've got Focus Ash Magic Guard, so the only damage that's going to happen to... Uh, and for some reason I've just realised that right nature's not so it. I'll just quickly really fix it up, it's supposed to be a timid nature right there, so we definitely make sure that we are outspeed today. So, and also with that as well, if uh, Pokemon does outspeed out, then we know that it's possibly stuff. Uh, next up we've got our, our next option here, which is our Metagross. Now this Metagross is going to be the difference maker in this match. So obviously, like I said, because we're really worried about the Pinsir and the Kieran Black. See, the way I've built this Metagross is to kind of counter those two at the same time. So I've made ourselves a relaxed natured Metagross, just because if I have a feeling he's going to try to get us whittled down with the Outrages or anything, because we don't have a fairy type Pokemon, so um, I wouldn't be surprised if he did put Outrage on Kieran Black. And then you've obviously got um, the Mega Pinsir with Aerolite, uh, return or X Scissor, which more likely he'll have the X Scissor or close combat, and he'll really have the bug stab move onto his uh, Pokemon. So the way I've built this, I've built it like a mixed attacker. So I've given him uh, maximum HP, and I've given him half uh, in attack and half in defense. And the reason for that is I want him to be able to live a hit from Kieran Black so we can hit a Meteor Mash off it as well. But also, I'm giving him Stealth Rock as well, because Stealth Rock is going to be so crucial against his team there. So, if we get the Stealth Rocker, it's going to make him want to bring out that Starmie. And when he does that, I can go ahead and swap into either Alakazam, or swap into uh, Pure Ugly. Because Pure Ugly uh, is a heavy, heavy hitter. And especially when we can get chip damage off and make sure we can try to eliminate the Starmie first, because I know that's probably his only spinner, um, it would work to our advantage. So we've got Medium Mash and Psychic. Now, Psychic because uh, of the Weezing. Now, the reason why I say is because obviously he's probably expecting my Metagross to be just a pure physical attacker. But the way I see it is if he does bring in the uh, Weezing to take a hit or Kieran Black or someone else, uh, we do have the Psychic as the option. Now, the only thing I don't like about the way I've built it in Relax is if we do get outsped by the Weezing that we do get the burn. But we do have Reservated with the Roman Therapy, so we do have that as a backup in case we do need to hit hard with Medium Mash. So this Metagross is very defensive, it has leftovers, clear body, so we're not going to lose anything. So Medium Mash, Psychic, Ice Punch, and Stealth Rock. So I'm pretty happy with this Metagross, and I hope that the Metagross is going to come key in this matchup against um, the uh, new Tampa Good Ninjas. So, oh, sorry, Tampa Bay Good Ninjas. And now our next Pokemon is Pure Ugly. Now, there's a number of reasons why I've decided to bring you Pure Ugly now. Having both Alakazam and Metagross means that we do have a Ghost-type weakness. A two Ghost-type weakness. So I brought Pure Ugly in, not just for the fact that it's a heavy hitter, but also our Ghost immunity. So if I feel like we're going to get Shadow Ball at this any time by, uh, by Starmie or anything, we do have the option to go into Pure Ugly. Now along with Pure Ugly as well, it is Defiant, that's 
Bouncer in the ability. So, in case he does bring in the Grand Ball with Intimidate, we do have the Defiant Boost that we can get off that, so it comes more to our advantage. Uh, but also we got uh, Stab Return and Fake Out, which is pretty clutch with a normal type Pokemon such as Pure Ugly. Uh, Play Rough, which I didn't actually learn, know that it learnt, but it learns a, a level 50 as a Gladiator. So, the Pure Ugly definitely comes through with the Play Rough to hit the uh, the Cure in Black. Now, I do know that uh, the base speed of Pure Ugly is 112, and that is very fast. So to ensure, if we have to go up against Cure in Black, we have to make sure that we are speed with um, with the Jolly Nature, maximum speed, maximum attack. So when we hit that play rough, we hit and we hit hard. So obviously the biggest down, down point would be if we miss. But we also got U-turn as well as an option on, uh, on Pure Ugly. Now we could put U-turn on as uh, not U-turn, uh, we could put Knock Off as well, but we've got Knock Off on Alakazam. I mean, it's U-turn and Knock Off is a bit of an option. I like U-turn just because it gives the initiative to swap into whatever I'm meant to expect. So say example, we swap into a Paraform, uh, or a Weezing, we just get some chip damage off and then return, and then we can make our decision based on that. So u is always a good move for that. And then like I said, Play Rock is there for uh, hitting the Alakaz, uh, hitting the uh, Cure in Black, but also hits, I mean, the Play Rock, so like you can do also attack reduction as well. So, definitely happy with Pure Ugly, and obviously Return being a stab return, it, it hits hard to like it. Now we go to our fifth choice, which is our Mega Sableye. Now Mega Sableye, uh, obviously the set I'm using is the, uh, the wall set. So basically it's got Prankster's ability. It's got Dark Pulse will with Carbine and Recover. So how we work this is, the only issue is if he does get Cure of Blackout, and he does possibly set up with it, but um, we've got Dark Pulse, obviously the stab move, we've got Willow Risk, uh, Carbine Recover. So he's a bold natured, uh, Sable Eye, so we can go ahead, set up Calm Mind for days, and potentially sweep with it. Uh, the only downside to this as well is I know that Dummy does get access to uh, does get access to Dazzling Gleam, which can be a bit of a problem for us. Uh, but also the Gramble can be a problem for us as well. But we do have Mana Grace to be an answer just in case he brings the Gramble. Uh, but yeah, but we got Will to Cripple, so on the first turn, we do have to Mega Evolve as part of the PMC rules on the first turn. So the Prank's ability will be only good for one turn. So basically, if I bring in Sableye, I'm going to bring it in to try to please try to get the Prank's to Will Whisper before we start to set up. And then I chose Dark Pulse for the flinch, if we do happen to go first for whatever reason. Uh, but I'm not shut up more because we get walled by a normal type. And I've learned that the hard way is so many Wi Fi battles and everything else. So that is our uh, Mega Sable right there. Now, last choice is the Rose right there. Now, Karma, shut up, please. God damn it. All right. So then, our last choice here is the Rose right here, and I've uh, just opened up my visual blue here. Sorry about the Karma, but I don't know who's this, but whoever it is. Uh, the last choice is Rose Ray. Now, Rose Ray is going to be our special defender because we don't have a special defender in our team here. We do have a lot of. Uh, well, it's like heavy hitters and some defensive mods, but we don't have a special defensive wall. And that's where Rose Ray really come into it. So with Rose Ray here, it's got a calm nature, it's got uh, energy ball, sludge bomb, stun sport, and rapid therapy. Now the reason why I've chosen uh, stun sport is because with stun sport we can try to cripple all those fast Pokemon there and possibly get maybe Parahax or what have you, and then try to possibly come back from there. Plus also, it gives us a turn maybe to go for that aerobic therapy to get the burns or whatever's on our Pokemon off. So the Rose Rage there, special defense, maximum hands would be maximum special defense. So, really, and the reason why I, pay, uh, the reason why I chose Energy Ball over Giga Drain is because with Energy Ball, um, we could possibly get a special defense drop as well. I mean, yes, we can use Giga Drain for recovery. I mean, it probably would be better just because we're trying to keep. Uh, uh, bloody color, what damn it. But anyway. Uh, I'll, I'll get through this. So basically, uh, I'll, I'll probably swap around the anti ball for uh, Giga Drain, and then we'll go for Sludge Bomb. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, sludge Bomb, Stun Spore, and Aromatherapy. So that's going to be our team against the Tampa Bay Frogadiers. Hopefully, we can come out with a first round win for the PMC here. So hopefully, you guys will get behind City Crocodiles. Uh, your coach, the Sharpino here, uh, will hopefully bring us through with a victory for our first round. So, I will say thank you very much for enjoying this episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode, I'll say, sorry, if you guys enjoyed this draft analysis, or say, team prep video, go ahead and leave a like down below, because as always, your support is greatly appreciated. 
and stay tuned for the battle video to see if we do in fact get our first win. So until the next time I see you guys, uh, stay safe, stay sharp, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Later.